Yes, the cold. It wakes you up, it slaps your nervous system in the gear, it makes you feel primal, alive, unstoppable. But what if I told you the cold plunge that you are doing every morning or want to do might not be helping you like you think. In fact, it might be hurting your muscle gains, slowing your recovery and doing nothing for your longevity. Let's dive deeper. Not just cold exposure. I'm Dr. Tam, the owner of Absolute Integrative Physical Medicine. And today we're diving into the energy that you might love where you say, well, I love the cold. I've heard about cold plunge. Cold plunges are everywhere right now. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, people are screaming in bathtubs, ice their beer, breath work mantras. It looks powerful. It is powerful, but is it beneficial? As someone who works with patients every day, as someone who studies the science of stress, recovery, and health span, I had to look into what the research is actually saying. And I found one of the most nuanced and brutally honest takes, and it changed everything. So what science actually says? Every major study on cold exposure back in 2020 and again in 2023 and 2024, they want you to know, well, does cold plunging increase lifespan? And the answer is no. There's no compelling evidence. There's no frequency evidence, compelling temperature, not duration. Cold plunges do not help you live longer. You need to get that. Now let that sink in for a little bit. So if it's not for longevity, then what's the upside? Is it muscle growth? Wait, but it gets deeper. What shocked me the most is that cold plunges right after your workout can actually blunt your muscle gains. Well, of course, it's cutting out blood flow to your muscles, creating small amounts of inflammation. In order for your body to actually build muscle, you have to create inflammation, small amounts, but it's inflammation. That is part of healing the growth process, building blood vessels. But when you cold plunge right after lifting weights, you interrupt that process, you shut it down. And now imagine you're training hard, you're lifting, you jump right into the ice and right afterwards, you're unknowingly sabotaging your own results, especially in the first three hours after your workout. That doesn't mean cold plunges are bad. It just means that timing is everything. Here's the key concept. Cold exposure is a stressor, just like exercise, just like fasting, just like a workout or parenting, of course. But there's a point where stress builds resilience and a point where it wears you down. Too much cold, too often, too close to training, it becomes another layer of uncover oxidative stress where you gotta do not too much, not too little, but just right for you. So what does that mean? Well, for myself, after becoming a father and owning my own business, it's a lot of times you're in stress mode. So how do you recover, stay alive? And I started asking myself, could cold plunge be the answer? Everything looks great. Instagram, YouTube, everyone's talking up about cold plunge, but it's not for me. Now, the exposure is not useless, so let's be real. It does help with boosting mood, reducing inflammation, increasing dopamine, supporting mental clarity, those things matter. But plunges are passive, exercise is active. So if you only have 30 minutes in a day, train, don't just plunge. How are you supposed to use the cold plunge? To use the cold plunge after a workout, wait 46 hours after your plunge. Do plunges on non-training days for mood and clarity. Use heat too, sauna actually so show real longevity benefits in research. Listen to your body. If you're run down, don't add more stress, add recovery, sleep it off, take a nap. Follow the science, not just the trend. You're not weak for resting. You're not soft for skipping a plunge. You are wise for understanding your physiology. So the next time someone says, well, cold plunges is the secret of living forever, smile, breathe deep and say, I choose the results not rituals. If this video made you think a little differently, drop a comment below. And if you want more no BS insights on what actually moves the needle in your health, hit the subscribe button, follow, come back next week. My name is Dr. Tam. I'm here to help you become stronger, healthier, and live life with more intention in everything you do. Let's go.